what are some of the mindset mishaps that result when people misunderstand a success mindset? Well, in this video, we are going to look at that. Again, I'm your coaching instructor, Louise Ann Maurice. Now, hang tight because I'm going to uh, quickly remind you of my five-part framework so that as I'm sharing the details of the case study, you can apply it. All right, let's listen in. You recently listened to a billionaire giving tips on what it takes to have a 1% success mindset necessary to achieve the unachievable. The highlights of the talk were that it is important to be seen as success. Don't listen to criticism. Be comfortable with few friends and use fake it till you make it visualization. You immediately start using these success mindset techniques with your clients and your team. A week later, you discover that people are creating more problems and blaming other people. When you address the situation, this was a response you received. The problem is, I have always put other people first, and that is why I have never been successful. Thanks to what you shared with me, I know I can't do that anymore. I have never done underhanded stuff, but having a success mindset means that I shouldn't care about other people. I should accomplish using whatever means possible. The result is you are shocked because this is not what you intended on sharing. Applying that five-part evidence finding framework and you were listening to the details what evidence were you able to find? And the attitude that was evident, what attitude jumped out at you, as well as the perspective or point of view. And the language, what language just jumped out at you? And what does that tell you about their mindset? And finally, the person, who did you find? And this, when you you got to think of yourself as always being that expert witness and someone that is just witnessing people. And it's not to judge them and it's not to analyze them, but it's just to be curious. Because if you don't know people, then you're not able to guide them. All right, with all of that information you were able to find, now I'm going to share with you insight and insight that's relevant for this case study and then see if you were able to match up. You can follow along with the PDF document that I have available for you. Remember, you can get that at louiseannmaurice.com in the free resources section. And this is the Empowered Mindset series and we're now on part six. But what was their attitude like? Well, I care too much about what other people think and it's time for me now and no one else matters. I should accomplish using whatever means possible. That is their attitude and that's what they pulled from the discussion. Now, what was their point of view or perspective? Unimportant. They see themselves as being unimportant. So if I should ride on the coattails of others to feel important. And this becomes your way of understanding exactly what is happening because they are pulling this information in and they are constructing it in a way that's supporting past experiences and how they need to make these changes to move forward. So that is very important information to be able to pull from that case study. Now, what language did they use? Thanks to you. Thanks to you, so they are, yes, blaming you and, and giving praise to you. Thanks to you, well, what you shared with me, I know I can't do that anymore. I've never done anything underhanded, but success means underhanded. So you have to be careful when people attribute too much thanks to you, because if something goes wrong, then they are going to be placing all of the blame on you. They are not in that empowered mindset. They are disempowered because they're making decisions based on other people instead of choosing their own path. 
Now, did you recognize that person? Well, this person creates scandals and chaos to be seen and heard, but they feel like a fraud when they're successful. Success is achieved without morals and values. So you can understand that this is the success mindset mishap that is occurring from what you have shared with them. Now, where does this misunderstanding start? The case study, the details, sometimes we have to go right back to the beginning to understand where the misunderstanding starts. And it really is that definition of success and the meaning that people attach to success. And it really is based on their past experiences and those experiences that they're pulling forward. Because success is the accomplishment of an aim or a purpose. And sometimes people feel that in order to accomplish that aim or purpose, that they have to be perfect. And this stops them in so many ways. And in order to move them beyond that, you have to be able to understand a little bit about psychology, not a deep dive into psychology, but just some simple aspects of it. We're inside the Wikipedia website now. This is the free encyclopedia, and I share this with you because this way it allows you to develop your questions and your techniques from this insight. And developmental psychology is the scientific study of how and why humans grow, change, and adapt across the course of their lives. And when you're a coach, a consultant, or a team lead manager, you're working with people it's being able to understand how they have developed. And it's their self-concept and personality, their emotional development and identity formation. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go through and read this for you. I know you're breathing a sigh of relief, but on the PDF document, I'll have the link that will take you directly to the site. And you can have a look through. However, what I do want you to focus on when you are reviewing this are the steps, the questions that I have outlined for you. And just simply, it's always understanding the goals that people want to achieve. Well, obviously, they want to be successful. And what capacity will obviously be the niche area that you are, as a coach, focused on. But everyone wants to. It's human nature to grow, to succeed. Now, as you're moving through... You want to be looking at the theories of cognitive development, moral development, stages of psychosocial development, and understanding all of these different aspects. Because when you are developing questions, you're understanding from our case study exactly where the issues have taken place. And when we move through here, I like the zone of proximal development as well understanding how children learn and their social interactions with members of their culture. They're coming up with definitions and the meanings that they apply to everything, as well as constructivism. The same thing, the process of actively constructing knowledge, individuals create meaning for themselves or make sense of new information by selecting, organizing, and integrating information with other knowledge often in the context of social interaction. So this is where you are pulling this information. I want you to go deep and look at one aspect so that you can focus on that and pull those questions from that, always referencing their goal and what they have shared with you. And then when you're moving through and developing a technique, it's about helping them to understand, helping them possibly to construct a different meaning that's going to support them long term. Remember, this is about sustainable change that is going to benefit them. Because if they don't have a success mindset, what are some of the challenges that they are going to experience? They might be attached to other people who, yes, riding on the coattails of other people. And they're attached. And if they lose that attachment with that person, they might see that, well, I'm not successful anymore. And sometimes you will see that in uh, marriages or partnerships where they are attaching to the success of other people. And on their own, they can't 
they can't have that. So it's beneficial for them to have a success mindset. And that's where you want to be able to work through those benefits with them. Nature versus nurture and letting them know that whatever your background is, you can change this. And it's those characteristics, those character traits of success that you want to be able to nurture instead. So there is so much information on this Wikipedia site as you move through and you're reading all of these different theories, being able to take those, again, following those five steps that I have for you on that PDF document. And as we continue on, I'll just be reminding you about where you can find that document. That was uh, all so interesting and this mini tutorial on uh, success mindset and all of that insight that you have gained that was my intention i want to thank you for sharing your time with me and learning with me we've learned about that case study and you were able to apply my evidence finding framework so that you have that insight oh yeah i do know about that and then developmental psychology to, to develop those mindset techniques as well as the client-specific coaching questions. Remember, it's always about making everything relevant for your own specific situation. And that's where you can always return to this and use and apply these methods for every new situation you find yourself in. But remember, I've mapped everything out for you as far as having the links and the concepts. You visit my website at louiseannemaurice.com. Go to the free tab and then click on Empowered Mindset. You want to locate the Success Mindset PDF document to download. Remember, it's free. No email address is required. Now, stick around. If you're not a subscriber, I will share with you how you can subscribe so you do not miss any of the videos in the Empowered Mindset series.